Today is the 28th. Yeah, December. So, uh, December 2017, supposedly, right? We all know there is no time. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. What do you yeah. mean there is no time? We know time, okay. time is an illusion. Yeah. Why right? is it an illusion? Because 2017 doesn't exist. Because, okay, we're not going to have any time today, right? So don't ask me any questions about time. My point is this. My point is this. That there is no time because it's not 20, 2017. It's just 2017 according to the Gregorian calendar. And they changed that in the middle. So if you go to Afghanistan, it's 6,000 or something. If you go to Israel, it's 6,000 as well, 4,000 or something else. But it's, not 20, it's only 2017 here. If you go to China, it's a different date. So that is an image anyway. But the point about this is today, because it's the 28th of December, we're going to start uh, preparing for 2018, which is to uh, expose the game of modern slavery and how it's being done. In the old days, we, have, we had a bunch of crooks who would take some ships and go to different lands and kidnap people. Mm -hmm. Now they're doing it differently. They're doing it electronically, which means they attract you to the, um, to the slavery. So you bring yourself into it, or you enter in, into it without your knowledge. Okay. So what they use is, um, through an unlawful means, they disguise as a legal process. That's the entire thing. So they disguise it as a legal process, and then they manipulate the process. But you're always a victim. So today we're going to explain to the henchmen who have invited me here, and uh, I'm here courtesy of the three henchmen. There's the henchkeeper, I believe. Henchkeeper. Henchkeeper. Yeah. I'll let you introduce yourselves. Henchkeeper and. Henchkeeper. And. Rose. 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 H and HND. 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 So those are my hosts for today, and I'm going to explain to them what the game is, and then they can explain to anyone else who's interested. Okay. So the culprits who are doing this is called energy vampirism. The main culprits are the evil ones, right? And I'm going to explain to you what the evil ones are so that you don't get duped. And we're going to use the symbols. I hope you can see them. If they're not clear, yeah. I'll try and go over them again. So initially, you have everything in one circle. So all is one. But if you, if you imagine this is everything that ever existed, that will ever exist in one circle. And and that is what we call the divine creator of everything. So it's, everything is one. And of the entire what we call the universe, or the cosmos. Within this universe, you have two divisions, which end up like that. Two divisions. One is what's called evil. So this would be a positive and a negative. So in nature, you have two forces only. Uh, benevolent forces and man malevolent forces. So you can say these are evil and these are lies. So uh, the way it comes across is evil and the mirror image of evil is live. Live. Right? My writing is off a little bit today. Live. Can you, can you see? Yeah. Okay. So what happened a long time ago is that the entire plane, what they call the planet, yeah. experienced what's called the golden age, where people were very smart. And they built a whole bunch of monuments. And they could uh, meditate and they could fly. They could do a whole bunch of things. They could move. So what type of monuments are they building? Uh, in those days, pyramids mainly to, to move energy, you see. And then outside of that, there's a bunch of people who used to live in caves, yeah. you see, only about a small number. So when they came out of the caves and saw what was out there, they went greedy and they went crazy. They just trashed the place. What did they see out there to, to make them greedy? Uh, they saw people uh, experience prosperity. In the Golden Age, if you see the old, old, older generations, like the Egyptians the ages before that, they were very prosperous. They had everything that they needed. And then somehow civilization collapsed and went into the Dark Ages because of these people who came out of the caves. And when they came out of the caves, they, they encountered a civilization that knew no greed, you see. So they just welcomed these people in. But they came and stole the property and killed them. And they took over. These people, there are what we call today, these guys here. Right? Yeah. And yet, what we call the evil ones here. Because what they did was overturn this upside down. Whereas, 
our ancient civilizations used to be in love, the emotion of love, they introduced fear by turning amor into Roma, which is the opposite of that. So evil is the opposite of love. Alright? So the people the people were trying to make sure you don't live. So that's why everyone wants to live and not be evil. Exactly. But some people are taking it. They're trying to do it both ways to be evil and live. You can do it both. Because the energies don't uh, discriminate. So if, if you go and pray that you want to uh, you want to uh, create a device to kill everybody, and you, you're sincere in your prayers to this dark energy, yeah. it's going to happen for you. It doesn't discriminate. It's like a knife or a machete. You can use a machete, the machete doesn't discriminate. You can use a machete to go out and uh, hunt. Yeah, exactly, and create food for yourself. Or you can use a machete to scare people and get money off them. Yeah. It just depends on what, what energy you're dealing with. The evil energy or the living energy. We encourage you young people to stick to the dead. Because our Roman friends are trying to encourage you to be evil. And they do that, number one, through the food they give you. It's all GM food. It's been tampered with. They dehydrate you and give you alcohol. So and where do they give you these food? I'm sorry? Where do they give you these food? Why? Where? Where? In the supermarkets. If you see the, if you see the branding, they'll tell you if the food is genetically mod modified or it's organic. So the way, what they're doing is they're genetically modifying your food and giving it to you. And that's affecting your genes and slowing you down. You're supposed to be um, getting faster. Like robot. Yeah, they're slowing you down so you're like an automaton, so you always move like this. You see people in the supermarkets pushing the trolley. I mean, you can see them there. They're eating, uh, I mean, you see, uh, I don't know, <laughs> but there's zombies in the supermarket. That's a living dead to talk about. If you're walking around and you have no knowledge, you're living dead. That's what it means. It doesn't mean zombies coming out of the grave. It means people who are walking around but they have no consciousness. You see. Do you guys know about chakras? What's that? Chakras. Chakras? What's that? Um, hmm. Anyone ever heard of chakras? Seems kind of. What is it? I've never heard of that. No? Shuck. 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 Like this? Shuck. Chakras. What do you think it is, no. I mean? I don't know what I feel. Like. What do you think it was? No, it was it was either that or something similar to that. Or it was some guy like making making paper set on fire up in his hands. Yeah, using spirit energy. Yeah, yeah, using spirit oh, energy. Mm. energy. Yeah, cheese. Energy, energy. Mm. Right? So you can do, you, you have the capacity in you to do all these things. You see. However, because of the food and the dehydration and lack of sleep. That's what takes away your powers, you see. But you can do all those things because of the fact that if you think that's your, you have seven ma main chakras, you have a whole bunch of them, but seven main ones. And the seven correspond to the seven colors of the rainbow and the seven precious metals. So you start off here with the base chakra or um, the root chakra. And this is in your lower zones. Um, here, the colors are uh, red, orange, yellow. These three represent lower chakras. So that will be solar plexus, so it's around here. Yeah. Orange one here, and then red one here. Sacral so mouth, base, base sacral, and solar plexus for those three. Okay? So when you see red colors and red things, they are playing to your lower chakras, which is here. So here, what you're dealing with is base instincts. And that's the F, Fs. Right? I can add two maps there. You've got base instincts. So all you think about is fighting, fight or fight, you see. So every, every situation you confront is either fight or, or run away. It's a very base in, instinct. It's a reptilian brain. So like me, I don't stand off from nothing. What do you do? What about that? Uh, it depends on your emotion inside, mm -hmm. you see? Because if you train yourself martial, as a martial artist, you're going to be in the same situation, but the emotion will be different. Because you're not, you're not freaking inside. You're very composed. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. But most people are freaking inside when, when they're dealing with this. 
So it's fl flight of or fight. Feed and gather. Okay? You get the feed, I'm going to tell you what it is, but you're going to find it by yourself. <laughs> right? <laughs> so that's all to think about. So when you come across people, and that's all they talk about, it's for Fs. They're living on the lowest chakra ever. And that's what these people want you to be on all the time. What the four Fs? I mean, what the three Fs you said? Flight, fight, flight, fight, feed, and the other F. Yeah. yeah. So that's all they think about. A whole bunch of them. And they watch programs like, um, what's the one where they Coronation Street. Oh, there's a worse one. East End. No, there's a worse one. Holy No, no, no. Where you have to go to stage and then people boo you and you have to talk about Big your, brother. your family business. Uh, Jeremy Kyle. Jeremy Kyle. Yeah. Jeremy Kyle. Yeah. Show. yeah. But there's one where somebody went there and his brother had stolen ten pounds. These are old people, like sixty years old, and they're gonna fight on stage about ten pounds. Yeah. But that's base stuff. Very, very base. What your, your task in life is this: you get born here because you're born in sin. <coughs> your task is to elevate yourself to, to, to high chakra, so you're using your brain and not, not down here. And that's your task. Okay? So once you reach here, which is the heart chakra, it gets to be uh, blue. So it's a, a blue color. And then you go up to uh, probably throat. Um, and then you're going to go up to your pineal gland. We're going to do. Uh, Blue? What's the colors of blue? Purple? Yeah, it's purple and then gold's the top one, which and I know. Yeah. Purple. Okay. And after yeah, that, that after that it gets white and light that is beyond belief. So that's the task. Your task is to make sure you don't worry about what anyone else is doing. Make sure you elevate yourself to gold. And you don't stay down here. Okay? So the seven precious metals, I'll give you details of it if you want it, so that you can correspond. The seven precious metals. The seven um, principles of the Houthi. Do you guys know about Kemet, Egypt? Okay, we're going to do some, some study about Kemet and Egypt because you need to know your heritage. You need to know where your people come from. Okay? Because you've been duped and you've been lied to and told you, you were slaves. Right? That's a big, big fiction. Yeah, that's a fraud. Right? People that's what I was told at night. Exactly. Yeah, eventually you're going to know why they're telling you that because they're afraid of you. They're afraid of something that if you realize who you are and the powers you have and you put those powers together, their devil system is finished and you start living again. There's no one to do that because they depend on you for energy because you're the one who has to go to work for them to live. If you're not around, they can't do anything. You see, that's the reason why. They're always on your back, always, always around, you're sleeping around. They're never leave you alone. Why? Because they need you, they're parasites. You see, they don't want to keep you down here all the time. They want to keep you fighting between among, amongst yourselves, you see, telling you there's a food shortage, there's no food shortage. The world is made of food. It's, it's, it's never food shortage. Plants are self-propagating. If people didn't grow anything for forever, they still grow uh, um, insects and, and the wind pulling this plant by themselves. Yeah. You see, there's, there's enough food, there's enough of everything to go around ten times. But some people have taken it for themselves. And they're depriving you of your um, estate. Right? They claim mm -hmm. that you belong to them. Yeah. That you're a chattel, that you're cattle. That's where the slavery comes in. You're livestock. That's why you have livestock and bond exchange till today. Right? So that when you play football, the people watch football mm -hmm. and support this. Premier team. League and all understand this understand that these people are trading in people. They tell you as well. Mm -hmm. Well, this place worth uh, whatever million. And he's worth a million. And he's being sold to a different club. And another is being sold to another club. What the hell is that? They're trading. In talent. Talent is the Roman currency, you see. Roman currency. At any point, I never know what you're talking about. You take it somewhere else. Um, so is that clear though? The seven chakras? Yeah. Yeah? So your task is not to be to be held here. You're meant to go up to your heart chakra first of all. Yeah. Right? As soon as you hit your heart chakra, you're going to uh, get a passion for something. So it could be music or uh, uh, dancing or whatever else. You're going to find a passion. but. You cannot get a passion until you lose your fear. This is where the fear resides. This three lower chakras. This is fear here. And this is love on the higher chakra. It's unconditional love, not this Hollywood nonsense. It's unconditional love in the center of well-being all the time. So, so you, you all, all, the stuff, all the stuff you're saying is like stuff that might happen in my life. 
It will happen. It feels like I'm, I have lost all for all for nothing. Well, where you have to uh, is called transmutation. So you have to build yourself up. So when you feel unhappy, you have to find something to do to reverse that. So some people can do it mentally. Some people need a physical activity to do it. So in the fist off, you punch a bag, or you climb a mountain, or go for a run. But you have to find out to transmute it. Because what you're doing is you're taking evil energy and making it good. So you're taking fearful energy and transforming it into love. That's all you're doing. As long as you keep doing that, then you're fine. That's it. There's nothing else. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, should we take a, a break? And then we'll... Just going to leave me in the Yeah. Can you stop and then continue? Um, mm -hmm.